what is up guys I'm going to just quickly say I think I found the cyclone slash mindstorm jackpot look at this was it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two down there look yeah look at that twenty two oh twenty three yep definitely the jackpot for this stuff this is going into my update video guide thing so yeah have fun what is up guys I'm here with you bringing you a new guide the guide is for rune span and this is going to be a low level like the first floor guide um, obviously you can be here from level 1 to 99 in this whole area like floor 1 2 3 um, and what I'm going to say in this guide is just going to count for just low level players. I've been here since the release, well actually the release was out for half an hour before I got here. And I was on 37 room crafting. Um, I've, the release has been out for about 2 hours and I'm on 45 so this is really good XP. And what I'm doing is, like, okay first from level 1 you want to collect your um, essence from if you do the tutorial it will tell you collect them from floating essence chip off from these guys which you'll need essence for you your, your, your siphon them you can get some ex, um, some what are they air runes I say I'll do it on this one because I haven't done this one yet so you siphon it get exp, get your oh my god I can't forget what they call essence then after you get your essence you chip off and you get more essence. Alright, so I siphon it for water runes, chip it off for essence. Look, siphon for air, air rune, which is this thing. See, get the uh, good XP, and then chip off. That's how you get. Oh my god, apparently I've done that one already. Anyway, that's how you get your essence. And there's also cl floating essence. There's also a few other ways, but you see that in the tutorial. So of course, at level one and all that, you want to do the siphons that you can do at your level. At the tutorial spawn, there is automatically a um, air essling there and an earth one. So you just keep siphoning them and siphoning them. When you run out, you chip off some, and you eventually venture out and you find more airs and more earths and some waters and all that. Okay, and once you get brave enough, you can venture out, and you can start finding cyclones. These cyclones are really good. From a standard cyclone, you get 19 XP per perfect dumb cast for your what is it? I'm trying to think of it for your withdrawal if you if you want to. Um, that's just cyclones. They give air runes. What they also have. Uh, mind storms if I can find one near me real quick well are you a mind yes you are a mind well okay these mines give you mind runes and they give slightly more XP at um, 20 so not a major difference but there is a difference when you miss you see you get considerably less XP you get about one or two XP and that's not good here what one or two XP you want major XP like you want the 20s at one shot like, but yeah, I just find it incredible how long I've been here and I've gained like friggin' eight levels. It's it's awesome. Um, and eventually, once you get uh, to a high enough level, okay, what I haven't mentioned is see how you're collecting these runes? Eventually, you're gonna message saying, Where is it? Game. You can hear a wizard calling for your help. Find him and he may give you a reward. Now, what that's saying is there is a yellow wizard running around and he's calling your name every now and then and you, to find him you find a blue wizard and ask him where to find it he'll point you, he'll give you an arrow and it points in the general direction of where the yellow wizard is you walk up to the yellow wizard ask him, like talk to him and he'll say ah oh, it's really bad I can't get the hang of this can you give me some runes he goes but preferably these type of runes if you give him the specific runes you'll get more XP but you can give him any type of runes and you click use and then use the rune and click on the wizard 
and you click on the wizard, he'll give you some good XP. Like, I get 500 XP for doing it on this low level, and my friend, as he prides Lewis, Tom, he gets 5k XP, and he's doing the high level one, so it's really good. Um, although, what I've found is funny. Some of the rune Esslings are really hard, some of them. I might have to go to the second level, but from what I can see in the time I've been here, the only one just you can find on the low level are Air Esslings. Earth Esslings, Water Esslings, and Fire Esslings. Okay? There's the only ones. Oh, you can find some mined ones, but I'm pretty sure I already mentioned that. So, yeah. This is just a quick guide. Okay, and then once you get to your like designated level that you would like, you find a bone ladder, which is either to north or south, I can't, I don't quite remember. And you go up that ladder, and that'll take you to level 2. And when I get to level 2, I'll release a guide for level 2. And hopefully, if I ask Tom really nicely, he'll release a hard level 1, like a hard level, um, what is it, guide. And in, but I'm pretty sure he's already, he's already released a maximize your XP video which is out right now and he's got a pretty decent amount of views on it so you know go to his channel check it out Aussie Prides Lures you know go, get in there get, go, go say hi to him tell him I sent you if you haven't if he didn't send you to me anyway so yeah that's all good I thought oh hang on hello Mr. Wizard talk to this little wizard and I just leveled up how good's that look so far across to this little island and talk to him Talk to the blue wizard. How is the training going? This is tricky, but okay. Can you help me find a yellow a wizard in yellow robes? It's telling me to go this way, so I'll follow this arrow at my feet. Right over here. Come on, please find him before my freaking arrow runs out. And over here, to where my mouse is, you can see you get points to the left, top right, left corner. Those points will be exchanged for a large, oh no, a massive rune pouch, or rune essence pouch. Oh, hello, I found you, Mr. Robe Guy. Talk to the wizard. Alright, and they can be traded in for a massive pouch, or wicked robes, but they're really expensive and cost a fair bit of points. Okay, so, hello, how's the training going? Can you give me some runes? I'll share what I have learned with you. If you have blood runes, well, I don't have blood runes, but I have fire runes, which is just as good. 460 XP right there. Like that. It's all good. Okay, and this is the area where you actually spawn for the first time. There's earth, air, air, look, water over there, and a couple of cyclones. So it's really good to stay there for the first few levels. So yeah, hope you have fun. And yeah, uh, comment what you think. And I'll release a medium level guide probably tomorrow in a couple of days, so have fun.